مرحبا بكم يا أصدقاء Here we have another lesson from Learn Arabic Online with Lubna Dumayan Today we are going to learn about verb conjugation The present tense particularly الماضي Verb conjugation in Arabic appears complicated at first because the conjugation table is overcrowded. Since we consider the number and the gender while conjugating. And yet it's quite simple if you keep in mind this cardinal rule. The subject the actor of the verb's action is part of the conjugated verb. The reason why most of the time the subject's pronouns are omitted in verb sentences. They are simply unnecessary because the Arabic conjugated verb contains all the information about the subject by uh, the use of suffixes, or, and uh, prefixes, it would be redundant unless you want to emphasize the, the action, you want some drama, uh, so the action done by, by that specific subject. It may even sound offensive sometimes. For example, if I say, you ate the apple. أكلت التفاحة أنت أكلت التفاحة It's like if you are blaming that the person ate that apple ate the apple So, the procedure of conjugating a verb in Arabic First, you identify the tense you are conjugating for you determine who the subject is and the proper and add the proper suffix or and prefix combination to the base verb so the past perfect indicative al madi used to indicate actions that have been completed and there are two main classes of verbs in arabic the sound verb الفعل الصحيح صحيح means uh, correct but when we say الفعل الصحيح we are refer referring to the sound verb the verb that has no vowels uh, in its roots no well or ya yeah. And there is the weak verb الفعل المعتل الفعل This means verb الفعل المعتل We refer to it as a weak verb because uh, it contains the weak vowels the long vowels, well or yeah. So, الفعل الصحيح does not have a well or yeah uh, as one of the three root letters. There are two types of this kind of verb. A regular sound verb. The regular sound verb. الفعل الصحيح السالم. Salim, it means safe. So you can conjugate it safely without any uh, dramatic alterations. And uh, let's conjugate the verb fa'ala, fa'ala to do. So it's the form one, fa'ala, to do. So, ana, anta, anti, ana, I, 
أنت أنت يو أنت ماسكولين سكند بيرسون سينجولار أنت فيمينين هو هي هي شي نحن وي أنتما دول سكند بيرسون ماس uh, either masculine or feminine but هما they are separated we have the masculine dual and the feminine dual أنتم plural masculine uh, second per person أنتنا feminine plural second person هم هنا هم plural third person masculine and هنا feminine plural third person so uh, while conjugating this verb uh, in the past tense so if you hear to أنا فعل to to you would know that a person is talking about him or her herself to فعل to أنا فعل to I did if you hear تا it's easy because there is already تا in the uh, subject pronoun you masculine singular second person تا تا فعل تا so فعل تا you, you will already know that it's the أنت for أنت so you don't need the أنت these are just references and فعل تي so تو تا تي easy تو تا تي and for the third radical of the root, we top it with sukun instead of fatha. So fa'alta. You keep the, the, the base of the verb fa'ala and you change the short vowel of the last radical from fatha to sukun and then you, uh, you suffix it. فعلت 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 for هو هي هو you keep the verb form as is that's why sometimes we say فعل it means he did or to do but there is no infinitive in, in Arabic it's just for you to understand that this verb is unconjugated so for هو it's is you always keep the form of the verb as is no alterations at all and for here you just add the ta to refer to the femininity فعلت you keep all the vowels the short vowels as as is and you just add the ta فعلت so to تأتي أنا فعلت 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 هو فعل هي فعلت we're fine okay نحنو uh, نحنو with first person plural it's all about noon there are two noons in this pronoun so you will just uh, keep in mind that for نحنو it's all about noon you will adjust the noon with the long vowel as a suffix نا and you will change again here the last uh, the, sh the last uh, a radical short vowel from fatha to sukun so fa'alna fa'alna here for the dual antuma feminine and masculine we add just we copy the suffix of the the subject pronoun to the verb base so fa'altuma antuma fa'altuma for huma and huma, uh, third person dual, you keep again like huwa and hiya, you keep the verb form as is. For masculine, you adjust the long vowel, you elongate the third radical, and for the feminine, you add the ta and the long vowel to show that it's, uh, that, uh, it's addressed to um, females. So, huma fa'alata. Huma fa'ala, huma fa'alata. So, huwa fa'ala, huma fa'ala. That's a long uh, vowel alif refers to the dual. So, easy. So, 
from huwa fa'ala, huma fa'ala, huma fa'alata. So just add the long vowel to huwa and to here to have fa'ala fa'alata. Antum, antum again here, same as antuma, you just add the tum, the last two letters as a suffix, uh, preceded by sukun, fa'altum, you did. Antunna, feminine, plural, uh, second person, you add again here, the same two letters at the end of the pronoun, tunna. Hum, fa'alu, hum. Here we have a long vowel wow and a long vowel alif. And since wow matches the dhamma, we had to put a dhamma on top of the last radical of the root. Fa'alu, hunna. Fa'alna, just the noon of hunna, and eh? preceded by sukun. So, tum tunna una, tum tunna una, tu ta ti. Okay? So, this is ja, uh, uh, one example of the regular sound verb. And there is uh, another type of the, uh, of الفعل الصحيح irregular sound verb there are two of them the first one the doubled verb the geminate verb uh, it's where the second and third radical of the root are the same for example let's say uh, دقة here with shedda. That's why we named it um, the doubled verb or geminate verb because it has two same vowels. So the root of daqqa is dal, qaf, qaf. You have to break down the word to have the three radicals. Daqqa, it means to knock. Okay, and radda, the one that we will be conjugating, radda, it means to reply or to return, so to, it's ra, dal, dal. So based on this, we will start conjugating. First, you have to break down the geminate verb to be able to conjugate it. So here it will be the same. We have, this is the base verb. The base, uh, the, the base root, the base verb, the root of the base verb, sorry. <laughs> so, radad to, same as fa'al to, the three radicals, and the suffix is preceded by sukun. Fa'al to, I did, radad to, I reply. Ana radad to. If you keep saying ana, 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 they will tell you that you are a selfish person. <laughs> so, Radad ta, this is the base verb, same as here. Radad ta, radad ti, fa'al ti, tu ta ti. Here we keep it as is. Radda, radda, huwa radda, easy. Here, what for here, what do we do? We just add the ta with sukun, raddat. Radad na, nahnu, it's all about noon. Nahnu, radad na, we replied. Radad tuma you duo feminine and masculine and for huma huma we said just like huwa here huwa radda huma radda just you add the long vowel alif to refer to the dual radata feminine dual same as here fa'alata radata antum antum antunna hum hunna Tum tunna u na. So what do we do? Radad tum. Radad tunna. Here we kept it as is. We just added the 
the, the, the Dhamma to match the well and the long vowel alif Raddu and here Radad Na Radad to Radad Ti Radad Radad Ta Radad Ti Radda Radad 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 Na Radad Tuma Radda Radata Radad Tum Radad Tuna Raddu Radadna So this is called Al Fi'lu Al Mudaf the Arabic name of the doubled verb Al Fi'lu Fi'l means verb Al Fi'lu Al Mudaf And the other kind is the Hamzated verb. You know that this is Hamza already. The Hamzated verb. Or Al Fi'lu Al Mahmuz. The Arabic name, that's good to know. Al Fi'lu Al Mahmuz. Hamza Hamza The Arabic name So where Hamza is one of the consonants in the base in the base verb for example uh, Let's check some examples Here Sa'ala he asked or to ask. Sa ala. The root is seen. Hamza lam. Alif, long vowel alif, is never part of the root. Well and ya can be. So sa ala or akala. It can be in the beginning, at the beginning of the of the verb. Akala. Akala, it means to eat or or at the end of, of a verb. For example, Bada'a, uh, to start or he started. Bada'a. Here we have three examples. At the beginning, at the end or in the middle. So here we will conjugate the verb Sa'ala. So as I said, we have a roots. Seen Hamzalam. This is the the base verb, the, the roots of the base verb. So what do we do? Sa'altu, again same, fa'altu, I did, radadtu, I replied, sa'altu, same pattern. Um, the suffix is preceded by sukun for ana anta anti. Sa'altu, sa'alta, sa'alti. Huwa, same form, sa'ala. Here, what do we do? We adjust the ta to the verb base. Sa'alat. Sa'altu, sa'alta, sa'alti, sa'ala, sa'alat. Nahnu sa'alna. Sa'alna. Antuma, we add the same suffix tuma. Sa'altuma. And for huma, huma, what do we do? We say huwa sa'ala, huma sa'ala, the masculine. Uh, third person dual sa'ala and feminine sa'alata just you add a long vowel to here sa'alata antum antunna hum hunna antum sa'altum antunna sa'altunna it's it's amazing the way it sounds it's you will get used to it and you, and you will start just conjugating uh, the verbs naturally Ooh, sa'alu with the dhamma, dwell, and alif. You have to really elongate it because we have the long vowel well and the long vowel alif. Ooh, sa'alu hunna fa'alna radadna sa'alna. So sa'al tu sa'al sa'al sa'ala sa'alat sa'alna. Okay, and then sa'al tu ma sa'ala sa'alata sa'al tu sa'al tuna. Sa'alu sa'alna. So this is the hamzated verb. And the
the second kind الفعل المعتل the weak verb that has a wow or a ya yeah as one or, uh, or more of the root radicals so there are three types uh, assimilated verbs الفعل المثال let's write it here that you can know the Arabic and the English name الفعل المثال assimilated verb begins with wow or yeah usually wow and and uh, in the imperfect it means present tense in English <clears throat> And in other situations, the well often disappears, but not in the in the past tense. We, you won't have really a lot of trouble because the base verb won't change. The well will stay. So we're fine for now. Uh, let's say, wada'a can be one Example of this kind of verb, wada'a, it means to put, we have a wow, it starts with the wow, or wasala, wasala, it means he arrived or to arrive, the roots, the radicals of the root of wasala is wow, sad, lam, wow, sad, lam, so it will be so easy. So, أنا أنت أنت هو هي وصلت 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 وصلا وصلت وصلنا easy right and أنتما the suffix تما وصلتما preceded by سكون and for هما هما هو هما you adjust the long vowel ألف هما وصلا هما feminine وصلتا تم تنا هم هنا وصلتم وصلتنا وصلوا وصلنا very easy simple so this this is the assimilated verb the second one a hollow verb الفعل الأجوف hollow verb الفعل الأجوف The hollow as well. Just thought. The hollow verb. For example, uh, 